Imagine something horrible happening to you your first semester in college. Welcome to the story of what happened to me my first semester at FAU in 2014. My name is Felipe Marquez. We all know that caring for our own health is important and more valuable than money. When an infection can cause you health troubles, it makes you reflect and appreciate when you are healthy. Today, I'm going to be talking about how I caught a MRSA or staph infection and was treated with a double strength dose of a medication I was allergic to and how I overcame and documented the struggle. To begin with, I want to talk about how this event affected my view on health and longevity. Before getting this serious infection, I underappreciated my health and felt that invincible feeling most young people have at 18 years of age. I was warned by my mom to shower in the dorm with sandals for bathing, and I did not heed this advice. After a few weeks on campus, I developed a MRSA infection on my legs and was prescribed a cream to treat the site and pills to treat the infection. Unfortunately, I was allergic to the pills and developed a whole body-wide rash of sorts. I looked like a pink zebra, and the hair on my head thinned rapidly. I later ceased the medication and was given one that could treat the infection and not cause an allergic reaction. This medicine did not allow me to stay in the sun and I had to wear a jacket. I later recovered from both the infection, the body white rash, and regained most of my lost hair. Now I want to talk about how my present actions were affected. After making a seemingly full recovery from the infection, I learned to appreciate my health more and be more proactive when researching medication that is given to me and even researching over-the-counter supplements I may want to try in order to be cautious of their effects. I now currently have health insurance and it has been beneficial to develop relationships with doctors to always look after my physical and mental health. Lastly, I want to talk about how my future is going to be affected. I can envision my future now as someone who looks after their health and for the health of others. I went on to learn about whole food plant-based diets and how it seems to be related to preventing the top 13 causes of death as described by Dr. Michael Greger in his book, How Not to Die. And I see myself advocating for dietary changes to improve health and being cautious to prevent unwanted health concerns from arising. Let's start wrapping up now. Today I spoke about overcoming a serious infection and the serious allergic reaction I had to the medication that treats the infection. I hope that this story of mine I have shared with you empowers you to look after your own health as well. When remembering that health is more important than money, being privy to our health needs is crucial to avoid becoming a pink zebra.